say something to you after the Boston series. What does, typically does he tell you when he sees you? No, no, he's just proud. Uh, you know, just proud of the way we've been playing. Just proud of the way we've been sticking with it. Uh, you know, just proud of the way we've been playing. He's real positive, man. And, and, uh, you know, he's, just, he's just proud of the way we've been playing right now. How about your game and the way you've played? Has he said anything about that? Yeah, just, you know, like I said, he's just happy for me. and just happy like how I've been sticking with it. And just uh, proud of the progress I've been making. And, uh, you know, I talk to him. I talk to him here and there, and uh, you know, I talk to him when I see him. But uh, you know, uh, it's hard not to play play uh, play hard for a guy like that. You know what I mean? So uh, I appreciate everything. Dude, how do you feel you play after the game? Beyond that, I'm feeling better now. Uh, you know, definitely a lot better. I feel like I'm almost, um, just almost out of my system. So definitely feel a lot better than I did uh, really the last two games. But uh, yeah, man, I just. Was that like a Caleb Martin Kluber game? Was that like a Caleb Martin Kluber game version? Maybe defensively, not offensively. Yeah, but as long as we get the win, I don't care what it looks like. How sick have you been in terms of, I'm sorry, Ari, in terms of temperature, Caleb? Did you have a fever at all? How bad was it? Not much of a fever. It's more just like a cold chill, like body aches, heavy, heavy migraines. I was pretty much in the dark the whole entire time until game time. So, um, but, you know, like I said, this is the time of year everybody dealing with something, so nobody really cares what you're dealing with. So. <laughs> yeah, like, do you feel about? like after the series you had against Boston that Denver's keying on you more defensively as you see more as a threat? Yeah, I definitely can feel that. I can definitely feel that type of energy when I'm on the court. But just the attention to detail, that's what, it, you know, that's what it takes to, I feel like, to get a championship at uh, this time of year. And, like, guys are home and everybody are doing whatever they can. So, uh, you know, that's, that's part of me to make adjustments and not only to be effective as well. So. Is that sign of respect? In the corner and then the three goals in the game, I guess. Those are two really big plays, despite of everything else, especially how you're feeling. Just coming away with that after the night. Uh, it feels great. I mean, anyway, I can do it, you know what I mean? And if I the game, I'm going to do it, like I said. I might not really uh, get to a finger all the way through the game, but you know, at a time when I needed not going down, I did. And, uh, you know, it's definitely one of the series that we got to against players and in right now. So definitely, it's definitely a defensive series for me to, to lock in and uh, I'll, you know, take off this one game. Caleb, earlier in the series, you said that you guys felt like you have always been here before because of Kevin Love and Jimmy Butler preparing you guys. How is it compared to actually being here now and do you think they've prepared you willingly? Yeah, that's what uh, they just, you know, they put the kids there and it's really stuck in the So, uh, just the leadership has been amazing. I and, mean, uh, you know, no matter how, I think that's why we always feel like we have a, you know, have a great chance of winning uh, these games just because no matter how the game is going, they, they keep us mentally in shape. And, uh, you know, it's hard not to listen to guys like that. Uh, you know, they've just been very, very positive energy and it's just people on that. As far as how you're being defended, how big a difference, just to follow up on that question, from Boston, and do you take it as a sign of respect? Uh, I definitely do. Uh, you know, um, you know, uh, like you said, it's just a sign of respect, and um, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, it's, like you said, it's my job to make adjustments and find ways to be effective. Um, that's, the, that's the cool thing about, you know, about the playoffs. So it's like you get different looks, and it, it, it definitely challenges, um, you know, your IQ and um, your adjustments. And, it's pretty cool. It, it, this one is a lot more strategic than it is the regular season. So um, it's a different type of game, and this is like stuff you learn from. So I'm enjoying it. Hey, you're part of a, a lineage of like North Carolina guards. It's like kind of slept on. What's the marker you think? Like, what is it about North Carolina guards? It's like to, what do y'all do best off the right Man, uh, I think it's like that we just, we can just, you know, we just grind me, we just try to get it done. And, like, Kind of got to go on all different style, you know. There's a lot of different guards in different places that like to be fast, you know, all type of stuff. But I feel like we just, you know, we kind of blue collar. We just like to try to get it done. How we get it done? That's that's kind of what I take. You said all growing up. Did you watch him? Yeah, yeah, I used to watch him all the time. Yeah, I used to watch him. Lots of guys came out from my family. Okay. All of them, all of them, all of them. How important was it to have Tyler winning the team? Very important. Probably 20 points, you know, 20 points, 20 points off the bench where you put him is 20 points. So I just think he just gives us a completely different dynamic of how we play and a, and a different, especially definitely uh, offensive threat. Um, anybody, you know, as many people you get back on the team as possible, you know, you want to get stronger than that. And, uh, 
That's why you can't let them little kids know the buttons are there. They keep pressing the whole time. So. <laughs> I just think that we, uh, you know, I just think that we try to defend the other guys as much as possible. You know, try to make them safe against points and, and uh, passes, getting passes and things. Just try to make things tough mentally for him. It's, it's so hard to find ways to affect him just because he's so, he's so poised and he does a great job of getting the ball exactly where he wants it. And, you know, whether it's a score position or, or, or a uh, pass position, or, you know, you can try to throw different things at him. Uh, uh, still. Uh, like I said, he's, he's, been, he's everybody's biggest fan.